If you have a Google account, you need to know about this malware and you need to know about Google's super secret project that has been around for absolute ever, but it's like the best kept industry secret for some reason. And you especially need to know about this if you're one of those people who ticked that box to remain logged in onto various websites so that you don't have to keep logging back in again. Watch this. Did you catch what just happened? What just happened was a headless browser just ran and copied all this info from the admin section of my website without nothing appearing on the screen, but most concerning, it didn't even ask me for a username and password. Because you are already logged into that website, Hackers can use this headless browser along with a bunch of smart browser SQL scripting to steal your entire session, including the authentication tokens. I mean, think about it. When was the last time you signed out of Google? So if this script just ran on your computer, all your info would be stolen. I mean, watch this. So this is a common email that goes around. And especially to us as YouTube creators, we get a lot of these. It's like from companies who wanna work with us. Obviously this email is a scam. It's got all the telltale signs. I would never click on it. What do you think would happen once I click on this link? So what is the scam exactly? So here is the email. I'm going to open up this on my Kelly Linux machine because I'm certainly not gonna open this up on my main working computer. This machine is completely secure. It's got nothing attached to it. So let's see, it's a Dropbox file, which I'm assuming is gonna download a zip file. Yes, there it is. And let's click on OK, so to get the downloads. And this is what's inside the read-only zip file. These two files. One is a contract and one is a promotion MP4 video. Okay, that definitely tracks. If I'm gonna open it, oh, it requires a password. So let's go back to the original mail. And yes, luckily they've supplied the password. Very, very kind of them to do that. So let's paste it in and see, is this a virus or not? No, okay, so this one is the actual promotion video. Guys, this is pretty common when we work with brands that they send us this kind of stuff for us to get inspiration from. But what about the other file? That's completely large. I mean, 749 megabytes. It's supposed to be a PDF. I've never seen a PDF that big, but look at the end, .pdf, dot scr scr is essentially the windows screensaver it's an actually an executable program and that is a big no-no do not open scr files now if i let this run on my main computer they would have had all my info and basically that would have been on the dark web ready for sale and again there are loads of variations of the scam this is just showing how it's tailored to me as a youtube creator but this could happen to businesses it could happen from the school or from your college or from your health insurance, there's lots of variations they're gonna get you to try and click on that link. So how do you protect yourself? Well, firstly, don't remain signed in into your sensitive services all the time. Log out of your Google account occasionally. What this does is that it resets the cookies so if they did manage to get anything on your computer, it instantly becomes useless. And yes, it is a pain to keep logging out of the accounts and logging back in, but if you're using a password manager, it's pretty painless. Now, secondly, if you're using a Windows computer, you wanna make sure that you always show file name and extension. This way, even if it looks like a logo of a PDF file, you'll be able to see that in fact, it's got a .scr file and not run it. And thirdly, sign up for the super secret Google Advanced Protection Program. This program says that it's for journalists and activists and business executives and people involved in election. Respectfully, I disagree. Many people use the Google account not just for Gmail, but to save files in the Google Drive and have Google Photos and set their home and work address on Google Maps. This is all personal stuff. And of course, many websites also allow us to log in using our Google account. Now you do need to know that to join the program, you're gonna need two physical security keys. This is the YubiKey 5 NFC, and this is the YubiKey 5C NFC. These are the keys that I use from Yubico, who are also today's sponsor. So when I log into a service that I protect with these keys, after I put in my normal super secure password, I will need to have a key and touch it. Both of these are actually NFC as well, which means they're gonna work with phones that have NFC support to them. 
All you got to do is simply log in and when it asks you to, simply tap the back of the phone and you're logged in. This is an extremely powerful as a hacker would not only need to know my username and my password, they will also need to physically steal these keys from me in order to access my account. Oh, and there's a big misunderstanding that you need to keep these devices charged or they work off some sort of battery. That is incorrect. You simply plug them into the USB port whenever you need them. So you know you need these two keys, but what does the Google Advanced Protection actually offer you? Uh, let me show you that next. So it protects you from phishing because it requires you to sign into your Google account using your security key. Now next up, it provides extra protection from harmful downloads. Only verified apps can be downloaded and installed. Okay, now this is gold. Now it keeps your personal information secure. So you know when you sign up for new apps or services, you have to give access to your Google accounts, like your contact or your location or your drive. Well, this is gonna protect against those kind of things because you have third parties who are trying to impersonate legitimate companies and they wanna grab your information. With this program, they're not gonna be able to do that. So you click on let's get started. Well, the first thing it tells you says, look, we need two security keys. One of them is your main one and another one that becomes your backup key. In addition to obviously a secure username and password. So after authenticating yourself to make sure you are indeed the rightful owner, you're gonna add your main key, which they recommend a combination of a USB and NFC and have a backup key. So let's do the first one. Have you got your key? Make sure it's not plugged into your computer at the moment. Once you have it, click on next. Now insert the key into your USB computer. And then once it's connected, you're gonna tap that gold disc. If yours has one, the YubiKey certainly has one. Next up, we give it a name that we're gonna recognize. I'm gonna call mine YubiKey USB-C, so I know exactly which one that is. And just like that, the first key is set up. And then you do the exact same step to set up your backup key. Now, before you finalize it, it's gonna to say to you, look, we're gonna sign you out of all your devices, including this one and your phones, and we're gonna need you to have your username and password as well as a security key. This is critical because it wants to make sure your account becomes nice and secure. Once you're ready, you click the enroll button, it gives you another warning, and then you click on enroll. And just like that, you're enrolled in the program and secured your account. Now to log back into your account, you're gonna need your username and password, and of course the YubiKey inserted into your computer and you're good. Now some warnings, since this is a much tighter security program around your Google account, some services that you give access to using your Google account may not work. I tried signing up for a service that gets info from my YouTube account and it was instantly blocked. So this could be an issue or a non-issue depending on what services you use. If you find that you no longer want to use this program to remove yourself from it, it's pretty straightforward. Under your Google account security settings, you're going to see manage advanced protection. Protection. And here, all you're gonna do is click on unenroll, but be aware, your two-step verification will still remain. So you, even your regular Google account is now extra protected with YubiKey that you've just set up. Now, another thing to look out for is that you're gonna need to have your YubiKey whenever you're using a new computer or a new phone or when you sign out of your Google account. So I got into the habit of putting one on my key ring and then one into my travel bag. So I always have them at all times. And the best thing is that these YubiKeys are not just for the Google Advanced Program. They can be used on other websites and services that allows you to use a physical key as two-factor authentication. I mean, just have a look how huge the catalog of these services are that allow you to use YubiKey to secure your digital life. I want to have a link to everything in the description below and if you want to see how quickly I can hack your password check out this video right over here or check out this video right over here that YouTube thinks you should watch. Hit the head here to subscribe, give the video a thumbs up before you head out and I'll see you in this video or this video or I'll see you in both. Let's go.